Hi everyone, I thought I would show you a few drills for young aspiring goalkeepers to do at home in isolation, um, so I hope you enjoy them. So the technique we're going to look at is uh, catching a high ball, so it's something you can do dead easy on your own. But first and foremost, we'll do a little warm up, a little bit of ball manipulation just to get a feel for the ball. You'll see I don't have any gloves because they're all at Motherwell, they're all at Fair Park and I've got none here. So obviously get your gloves on and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Right, so ball manipulation, just get the ball moving in your hands. Just to get a feel for the ball. Really good as a young goalkeeper, just to always have the ball in your hands, always get it moving. Mind your waist. There's loads of little different things you can do. Just to get comfortable with the ball. Good at the figure of eight through. And obviously to warm up as well so you can get your legs moving, stretch the groin. And then you can hold it around one ankle. Try and go fast in different directions if you can. Oh. It's a good warm up to get your muscles going. Go around your head. Great again. Just get moving. And then just in front. And then if you can, around your back, around the back of your legs. I haven't done this for a long time. But always do it as a young kid. And then pop it through like that. So that's just a warm up just to get the ball moving. Make sure you stretch it off because it's going to be a little bit of jumping. So catching a high ball, the, the basics is you want to catch a ball at this highest point. So it needs to be in front of your head, arms slightly bent. If you can see from a side angle, not out like that, straight, not on top of your head there, but your arms just slightly bent in a good comfortable position. So it's high as you can, but also a bit of give in your elbows so it's not straight on. So see how the first one goes, just in terms of the catch, you bounce, catch, nice high point. Get a few of them going, just to get the technique. Obviously your hands, your actual hands are in a nice W shape. If you see, your thumbs are slightly touching. Your hands are in behind the ball, so they're not like that, so it's not gonna go straight through. Your thumbs are just slightly touching there. The classic W like that. And then we incorporate the jump. So it's knee up, you can do both sides. As you jump, you drive the knee up just for a bit of protection. So no big striker's gonna come and clatter you. So bounce, jump, like that. Walk back in. Bounce. Jump like that. Do side on. The final bit is as you take it, you want your momentum to carry through the ball. So you want to catch and then come forward after you after you take the ball. So it's a bounce, catch, and then your momentum brings you through. Otherwise, if you catch it still and you get a knock from a striker, you'll probably still fall, whereas if your momentum's taking you through, you should be strong enough to carry it through. Bounce. Oh, take it through like that. Get that knee nice and high and drive through. You're jumping off, off your opposite leg. Oh. Last one. Knee through, momentum, catch. Now the final bit, in a game, obviously, you need to know that, you need to let your defenders know that you're there. So it's a big shout, as loud as you can, and come and take the ball. Like this. Keep pass! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. So to all young goalkeepers out there, uh, keep practicing, get yourself in the garden or on a bit of grass. Uh, tag Motherwell FC on Twitter or Instagram and let's see how good you are, see if you can nail them techniques down. Um, so thanks a lot for watching.